News at 5. After four months, about 40% of the state's residents, 16 and older, have received at least one dose of the vaccine. I'm Kristen Remington. I'm Ryan Canada. Thanks for joining us tonight. 26% are completely vaccinated, but there are signs of a slowdown. Paul Nelson joins us live over at the Atlantis. Paul, what's happening there? Well, this is just one location where the Reno Fire Department has held a vaccine clinic, Ryan, but it didn't fill all of its slots today. 350 people did show up here to get their shots today, but there's still a lot of people in the community who say they have no intention of getting vaccinated. The Reno Fire Department is just one group holding vaccine clinics. This one is at the Atlantis. Of 500 slots, 350 people signed up to get their shots. Not everyone's on board with getting vaccinated. Part of the family that'll come in and then the other part of the family, they're, they're just adamant that they don't want it or they've already had COVID and, you know, they didn't get very sick from it. And so they're, they're just not interested. People at this pod say they trust the science, but others are skeptical of the makeup of the vaccine and say their production was rushed. The whole thing with uh, people in charge of the vaccines, I just don't trust it. They're not doing something to the people. Others are on the fence. Some say they plan on getting the vaccine, but won't do it until they see more long-term data. It was rushed. It just took six months to make, so I don't want to run out and get it, but I do plan on getting it if it seems to work out fine for people my age. Officials say the risk of side effects is very low. That's why so many people are getting immunized, but they're still concerned about the reluctance of others. For people who don't get it, it does make me a little nervous that they might have some way of you know taking it with them and giving it to people even if I've had a vaccine so I'd rather everybody get it than not. These guys say they're confident in the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines and that even young healthy people will see the upside in getting vaccinated. A lot of my friends they like going to like music festivals stuff like that once they start pushing out like oh you, you can wear like uh, you can go to the festival without a mask uh, I know a bunch of them are going to be wanting to do that. While some of these smaller pods aren't getting quite the traction they were earlier on, there's still large pods out there that are vaccinating upwards of a couple thousand people every single day. Officials say it's also a lot easier to make appointments now, too. Covering the story live, Paul Nelson, 2 News. All right, Paul.